En quoi Please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Bah, on dit The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And again, the chamber will hand the floor to the la prosecution to continue la putting questions to this witness. You can proceed. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, we were discussing um, document uh, E3 4083 and uh, a particular list at the end of this document. Um, I just have two more questions on this list. Um, prisoner number 28 uh, was a person who was identified as having complained about having to eat thin porridge. And um, I see your counsel. It's a Khmer page 00068036. Um, prisoner 28 was someone who complained about having to eat thin porridge. My question, uh, did the prisoners at Krang Tachan include people whose offense consisted of complaining about the lack of food? Prisoners who were detained at Gandajan prison were those who allegedly complained or about the lack of food, about overwork, etc. For that reason, they were taken and detained there, or at least most of them were in this category. And the last entry on this prisoner list, number 29, uh, was a 73-year-old man, Sung Rat, who was a former village chief accused of stealing food. Did the prisoners at Krang Tachan include Elderly people. Mr. President, I object again to this question. We do not know for sure that this particular page is in fact a Krang Tachan document. As I said earlier, it looks completely different from the other pages. We have no way of uh, verifying um, the original document, so we do not know whether this page was inserted somehow. Uh, again, it looks completely different, uh, and it doesn't look. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, like a page on a Krang Tachan record. So, again, um, the prosecution is assuming that this is some document that um, the witness has seen or, in fact, is part of the Krang Tachan uh, prison record. We do not know. Mr. President, this is the same objection. He's entitled to ask questions. This is an admitted record. My question to the witness uh, is simply, did the prisoners at Krang Tachan include elderly people? Well, I'm, I'm going to interrupt. I would like you to rule on this. Uh, que vous rendiez une décision.
International co prosecutor could you uh, inform the chamber regarding document A3 slash 4083 whether this document is part of the current case file? And uh, whether this document is referred to in the footnote of the indictment. Uh, Mr. President, it's, it's certainly part of the case file. It's an admitted uh, uh, document. Uh, I can't uh, tell you without checking whether it's cited in the closing order, but it was a, a document that was admitted uh, as part of the Tramcock records that were put before the chamber uh, during the uh, 00201 trial de ce qui a été présenté pendant le premier procès du deuxième dossier concernant Tramcac Président, je vous remercie the uh, chamber rejects the chambre objection raised by the defense counsel regarding document E3/4083 and the prosecution can refer to this document during uh, the questioning to this uh, witness. The defense counsel is also uh, reminded la that you la may use your time of questioning to clarify the issue in relation to this document when you put a question to this uh, witness. And the international co-prosecutor, uh, you may continue. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, uh, were there elderly prisoners at Krang Tachan? It is rare to see elderly prisoners. I want to uh, turn now uh, to a statement you made in D-125-129, uh, inter your interview, first interview with OCIJ. At Khmer 00224790, English 00231675, and French 00234576. Uh, in this part of your statement, you described receiving and typing handwritten papers that contained, and I quote, the confessions of prisoners saying that they had been involved with the CIA, had stolen to eat, had complained of fatigue, had complained of not getting their fill to eat, had been involved with law and law soldiers and capitalists, etc. End of quote. We've covered a number of these subjects already. Um, my question to you now is, were there many prisoners at Krang Tachan who were former law and law soldiers or people accused of having connections to the law and law regime? I did not know for sure how prisoners uh, uh, categorized into these two or three uh, types. I want to turn to some questions about uh, a cousin of yours. Uh, you indicated in interview D-232-93 at answer 68, uh, that you had a cousin, Mia Khun, who was arrested and taken to Krang Tachan prison. Can, I, can you first tell us, uh, how did you learn that your cousin had been arrested and sent to Krang Tachan? Uh, 
cousin was arrested and uh, imprisoned at the Crown Chan, and that happened before my arrival at the Crown Chan. And upon my arri arrival, he was not there anymore. And I uh, presumed he was arrested at Je his uh, village and uh, sent uh, to a Kangdachan. But I did not see him when Mais I arrived. What did your cousin do Question. and where did he live um, during the Khmer Rouge period? Before the Khmer Rouge regime, Avant he lived in Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. And after he left Phnom Penh, he went to live at Antenu village, Libo commune, Tramcot district, Takai province. Dans un village, dans la commune de Libo, dans le district de Tramcot. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, I'd like to provide to the witness uh, two documents uh, that relate to a person by the same name, Mia Pun, who was arrested in Tramcock District. These are documents D-157.39, D-157.39, and document D-157.7. Uh, with your leave, may I provide these to the witness? Yes, you may proceed. Le président, allez-y. Mr. Witness, the uh, uh, first of the two documents that you're just given, uh, D-157-39, is an 18 April 1977 report to the party from Office 105, which states as follows, quote, on 17 April 1977, a trader was arrested. His name is Mia Pun, 26 years old, who was a student of second grade senior high school and a former second lieutenant in Pochitong. He was arrested from Tul Kepos village, Lebo commune. We have now brought him over to the police already. End of quote. And in document D 157.7, if you would look at Khmer page 00027-08-61, English 00866430, and French 00872805, there are notes uh, of the interrogation of a Mies. Pun, 25 years old, wife named Mao Chan, birthplace Lebo Commune, Tramcock District, who joined the Lano Army in 1970 and was promoted to first lieutenant. Um, Mr. Witness, is the person who's described in your documents, in these documents, your cousin? Cette personne, est-ce que c'est votre cousin? Yes, that is true. Mi Pun was my cousin. And was your cousin a lieutenant in the Lon Nol Army prior to I uh, was not Réponse. sure of his rank while he was in Phnom Penh. I only knew that he was a student at the time. Now, the notes um, for your cousin in D-157.7 contain the following statement, quote, this man is a string of A Chin Hon and A Ma who have a plan to betray us. 
These men said, indicated in quotes, we should be patient. Later, our country will be changed to be what it was in the past. At that time, there will be religion, school, private property, and money again. And continuing in the next paragraph, these men do not have a clear plan. They are only waiting for their group to come from outside. At present, they are frustrated with the hard work and shortages because they used to own many things during the regime of Lon Nol, end of quote. Now, Mr. Witness, in your interview D-232-93 at answer 53, you testified that very few prisoners were released from Krang Pachan. And you said, and I quote, 99% of prisoners were smashed. My question, was your cousin one of the few who were released from Krang to Chan, or was he part of the 99% who were executed? After my husband uh, was arrested and sent to Krantachan, I had not yet arrived at uh, the, the prison. I was still with the army. Was your cousin ever seen again after he was arrested and sent to Krang Tachan? No, I did not see him. Mr. Witness, the last subject uh, I will cover with you today uh, is the executions of prisoners at Krang Chan. And in your OCIJ interview, uh, including D-232-93, uh, answer 29, uh, you have testified that the documents you were given to type included, quote, names of prisoners who were smashed. Um, Mr. President, with your leave at this time, I would like to provide to the witness document E3 slash 4145, E3 4145, at Khmer 00068737, English 00762845 through 46, and French 0076-1101 through 02, uh, which is a partial list of prisoners. Uh, may I provide this document to the witness? <coughs> Mr. President, um, again, we have a situation with this particular document. Uh, I'm not sure délicate, whether you actually understood well my earlier objection, um, but let me focus now on this particular document. Uh, we did a research on this document, document. Nous avons mené and un nombre de recherches this is one of the very document. few documents uh, relied upon by the prosecution of which there seems to be an original document. The original document, however, uh, is only to be found original. at Tool Slang. Or, so it seems se that uh, this is not an actual in Krang Donc, Tachan document, but rather, possibly, I don't know, uh, a document from S21. Mr. President, this is an admitted document. Uh, there are many uh, tramcock records uh, that are stored at the Tool Slang archives. That doesn't mean it's a Tool Slang document. And if I may proceed, I will be able to question the witness on this document. He can question this witness on this document. That's the only way we'll learn anything about it. Mr. President, this is E34145. As you can see, these are mostly 
Maître uh, Coco, c'est le document E341-45. Um, on voit qu'il s'agit um, des soldats de la division S qui sont les anciens. Si l'on parle d'un document, document de S21, document, on ne parle pas de tool 5, on ne parle pas de tool 5, on ne parle pas de tool 5, alors ce témoin ne peut rien nous dire à son sujet. The council is looking at the wrong page. Uh, that is not the page that, page uh, that is being presented. It's not the list. Uh, this is not a list of East Zone prisoners. Ce n'est pas une page avec des prisonniers de la zone Est. It is part of E3415. Maître Coppe, mais cela fait bien partie du document E3 bar 41-45. As was the list that included the relatives of the first witness in this trial, pour, uh, which has clearly been established to be a Krang Tachan record. This document, by the way, I've done témoin, more ça, research possible. I've already confirmed that many of the prisoners in here appear in other de of the same documents, Krang Tachan interrogation documents. notes, and reports from commune chiefs in Tramcock. It's an admitted document. It clearly involves Tramcock, and I would request to proceed. President. Chamber. President, uh, the objection of uh, the Defend Council for Mr. Nunchi is overruled, and the request of from uh, co-prosecutor is granted. L'accusation peut poursuivre. The uh, document you've been provided, Mr. Witness, uh, is a partial list of 37 prisoners, uh, and it contains two annotations uh, on it. The lower one on the right side is dated 22nd of May 1977 and states, quote, a total of 37 people, both young and old, whose names are contained in this, in this list have been purged. Uh, do you recognize the handwriting of that annotation? Mark, I did not recognize the handwriting, Je but ne reconnais pas I cette écriture. knew the person who could uh, put annotation on the document Je la were Anne and, and Duke. Qui However, I could not assume that uh, et de the Duke. handwritings belong to dire Anne que cette or Duke. À ou à and you testified that you typed uh, prisoner lists, including prisoners who had been smashed. The typed part of this document is this similar éliminé. to the form of lists that you would type. Ce document ici est-il similaire aux listes que vous dactylographiez? Answer. Answer. As the form. It uh, was the same as the document I La did. Forme I did the typing. Est identique à celle des documents que je dactylographie. Pour ce qui est de l'indication sur les exécutions, je n'ai jamais rien vu de tel. En revanche, le format est identique. In uh, your interview D232 slash 93 at answer 26, you testified that, quote, prisoners were taken to be killed both inside and outside the prison, and that when prisoners were killed inside the prison, I heard their screams, end of quote. You also testified in statement E319.1.25 at answer 23 uh, that you saw, and I quote, dead bodies piled up on each other outside the fence. De côté de la Can you tell us uh, on what side of the prison it was that you saw this pile of dead bodies? 
the north, south, east, or west side. Est-ce dans la partie nord, sud, est ou ouest? D. Answer. Réponse. I never saw the piles of uh, dead bodies, and I did not know the answer. Je ne peux donc pas vous répondre. Uh, Mr. Witness, um, one of the guards in your six-man unit Un des at Frank Tachan, de votre groupe de six, who you referred to as Sin, que vous avez uh, he has made Sim a number of statements about executions at the prison that I would like to ask you about. Dans cette prison. Vous in ce D40 document slash 20 at Khmer 0016-53-30. English 00-43-35-69-70 and French 00-52-43-18. Sim testified that your unit was assigned to guard outside during executions. And he stated, quote, whenever prisoners were being killed, they put me on guard outside the Krang Tachan office fence so that no one could approach, end of quote. He testified that meetings which were held uh, at the prison by the prison leaders on Duke, Chen, and Peng informed your unit, and I quote, today we have to take prisoners out to kill them, and then they assigned us to guard outside, end of quote. Pour les tuer et vous dites Do you recall your unit receiving these assignments? Vous souvenez -vous and que can you tell us where on the Crank to Chan compound these meetings were held, where, where assignments were given? Ces réunions au cours desquelles on vous confiait les tâches à effectuer. Answer. Réponse. During the meeting, there was no, there were no such meeting uh, instructing us to take pas de people to be killed. On nous the six-man unit uh, had no responsibility to deal with the killing. De des and in my division 210, regiment 13, dans le 13e régiment de la division 210, à laquelle j'appartenais, Mien et Ta ordered me to do the assignment. I was at the outside guarding, so I was never convinced to a meeting to get such assignment. Et je n'ai jamais été convoqué à une réunion où on aurait fixé ces tâches. Mr. Witness, was your guard unit obliged to follow the orders that you received from your superiors? Devait-elle exécuter les ordres reçus des supérieurs? Answer. My six-man unit received the order from the uh, commander of Regiment 13. We were asked to be on guard at the uh, Grand Tatian Security Office. As I mentioned, I was not part of the staff at Grand Tatian Security Office. Let me read to you Question. another part of your fellow unit member's testimony. This is at Khmer 0016-53-34-35, English 0043-3573-30. And French 0052-4323. Sim testified Voici that during executions, quote, I heard them playing a loudspeaker. They always used the prisoner Sen to play the loudspeaker and dig the pits to bury the bodies of those killed, the bodies of the prisoners. End of quote. Can you tell us whether loudspeakers were played during executions, and can you tell us where those loudspeakers were located on the prison compound? Answer. 
Answer. Réponse. During that time, there were no. À l'époque. There were no loudspeakers. Il n'y avait pas de haut-parleurs. Were uh, you aware Question. whether prisoners such as Sai Sen were ordered to dig pits and bury bodies of the killed prisoners? Et y enterrer les cadavres des prisonniers exécutés? Mad. Answer. Réponse. As for Soi Sain, when I arrived there, he was already there, and I did not know how long he had been there already, and I did not know the task, the responsibility of Soi Sain. Soi Sain was at that place for a long period of time already, and I did not know when he arrived there. Je ne sais pas quand il était arrivé. Let me read one Question. more uh, lire un statement by your fellow unit member de from the same pages. De votre he described à la même page. the instruments that were used Il to kill prisoners. Pour and he testified, quote, Et voici ce dit. Je when cite. they killed people, quand they used hose, des gens, bamboo ils trunks. Des there were also des swords des for cutting their throats and of quotes. Are you able to tell us where weapons were stored Où at the Krang Tachan compound? Les armes à Krang Tachan? Bad. Answer. I did Réponse. not know. Je n'en sais rien. I did not know where the weapons were hidden and where they cachées. were. Mr. Witness, was your unit armed? Question. Votre unité portait-elle des armes? Bad. Answer. Réponse. For my team, we were armed with M16, unité, uh, AK, M16 and C AK CKC. Et de CKC. Were the, was there a location Question. at the Krang Tachan site where weapons à were stored, Tachan, such as those uh, guns? Où l'on rangeait ce type d'armes? Bad. Answer. Réponse. I did not know the location where the Je weapons uh, were stored, and as for rangées. our six-man unit, uh, we were armed. Um, each of us was, was armed, and we had uh, six rifles, and I did not know where the, rifle, the weapons were stored. Each of us uh, got Chacun a weapon, and arme. we were armed uh, day and night. Et nous cette arme jour et nuit. Before Question. I finish, um, Mr. Witness, um, uh, Sai Sen, the prisoner you've identified, has provided some testimony about your role at the prison uh, that I would like uh, to read to you and give you a chance to respond. Uh, in his OCIJ statement, E319.1.24, at answers 105 through 106, Sai Sen testified as follows. Question, what did Little Dutch do? Answer. Little Dutch typed Duc using a typewriter, but Dutch also killed prisoners if there were many of them, and he wrote the report the next day. Le le Question. Ensuite, Did you see Little Dutch kill people with your own eyes? Answer. I saw it very often before killing women. Avant he told them femmes, to get naked, il leur end de of se quote. Déshabiller. Mr. Witness, Monsieur were there témoin. occasions, because of the number of prisoners Quand il y avait uh, to be killed, de prisonniers à exécuter, that your guard unit was ordered and assigned to assist with executions? De participer aux exécutions. Answer. Réponse. Whenever there were K 
killings, uh, we, the guards, nous, were on duty and we were outside of the perimeter. And as for the answer, pour vous répondre, stating hein, that I was ordered to kill people, I could not uh, respond to that les gens, question. Je ne puis pas y réagir. Mr. Witness, uh, question. your fellow unit member, Cet autre Sim, de votre unité, uh, in the same Sim, statement, the same page as I read before, a ce qui provided suit the following dans le même uh, evidence. La même page. Question. Je vais citer la Approximately question how posait. many prisoners did they kill each time? Combien Answer. De there were more than 100, up to 200 prisoners each time they took prisoners to kill them, both children and adults. Sen, Sen, who was a prisoner there, may know about this. Place, End of quote. Uh, another prison guard has testified in his OCIJ statement. E 319.1.23 at answer 90 that children were killed at Krang Tachan. Can you tell us whether the prisoners who were executed at Krang Tachan included children? Krang Tachan, comprenait-il des enfants? Answer. That is true exact. concerning the question you asked, uh, but I did not remember how many Cela children, dit, male and female, were killed, et but actually tués. there were killing of uh, children. Il y a bien eu des My last question for you. Question. Um, in this trial Dernière on the 5th question. of February, 2015, 2015 uh, E1 257.1 Je fais référence au document E1 257 et à 11h45. Je fais référence à 10h40 et 11h21. Sai Sen a déclaré que vous faisiez partie d'un groupe de gardiens qui étaient présents au cours d'un incident pendant lequel Sang et Sim ont tué deux petits enfants. L'un avait trois ou quatre ans et l'autre cinq ou six ans. And on the 4th of February, Le 4 février, uh, at 13.37.33, a Sai Sen described those executions as follows, quote, There was a small pit to the south of the palm trees. Au sud they killed the younger one Ils by smashing against the trunk of the palm tree. And then they brought in the elder palmier. sibling Ensuite, and they used a hoe âgé, to hit the neck of the back of that child. End of quote. Fin de citation. Uh, Mr. Witness, what Monsieur can you témoin, tell us about the execution of children at Krang Tachan? Answer. Réponse. As for killings at Krang Tachan, I did not witness the Je killings, pas été témoin and I could not make any assumption how the Je killing were conducted. But when the people were shot le at, uh, we could not hear the gunfire. Gens par balle, However, if nous the killing was carried out with a hole or si with clubs, ou uh, ou we did not know. Étaient utilisés, nous During rien. the killing, uh, it was very quiet. We could hear nothing. And I believe uh, children were rien. killed through various uh, methods, but I que des did not witness the killing. Uh, Mr. President, I have no further questions. I Question. went over my time a little bit, um, but I'll pass the floor to the civil parties now. J'ai quelque peu dépassé mon temps de parole. À présent, je cède la parole à la partie civile. President, thank you very much. I now Merci pass the floor beaucoup. to the civil party lawyer to put questions to this witness. Qui le civil party lawyer, thank pour you. La partie First of all, 
Good morning, the chamber, and good morning, everyone Je salue toutes les in personnes and around the courtroom. And uh, good morning to those who views the proceeding uh, remotely. I am Lao Chung I am one of the lawyers in the Legal Aid of Chung-Ti. Cambodia, je and pour I am Legal Aid representing uh, civil parties in the ECCC. Devant les CETC. Now, now, I would like to say good morning to Mr. Witness. Monsieur le témoin, bonjour. I will put a few questions concerning some of the facts which you experienced from 1975 to 1979. My first question concerns Ma première question the fact that you were a guard Porte at the sur votre statut de garde. At the you you were guard outside the Krang Chan security office and uh, you were part Krang-Tachan. of the six man unit. I would like membres. to ask you as follow while you were on duty And uh, when the prisoner was sent to the security office, where were you? Au bureau de sécurité, à quel endroit vous trouviez-vous? Answer. Réponse. Your question concerns the period uh, in 1975. Actually, I was not at the security office in 1975, and in 1976. I was uh, transferred from the, the envoyé committee in the district to par le comité de district the security office to the west. Le bureau de sécurité à l'ouest. And I was sent to security office in the 1976, C'est and at that time I was uh, guarding outside the compound about 6 kilometers away de from the security office. À environ six kilometers de ce bureau de sécurité. Question. Question. So you mean you did not know vous about the transfer of prisoners que vous n'étiez pas to the security office while you were on duty. Vers ce bureau de sécurité alors que vous étiez de so service. once again, when a prisoner was sent into the security question, office, did you know about that and did you witness it? Le saviez-vous? En étiez-vous témoin? Answer. At that time, I was guarding Je montais la garde. I was guarding, yeah. and there was a halt about one kilo- kilometer away from uh, Grand Tachian Security Office. My six-man unit so was guarding at Mon that place. A prisoner from uh, villages, from communes, uh, were sent là, to the place des where des I was guarding, and after that, uh, they were sent uh, into garde. the security Ensuite, office. Au bureau de sécurité. Question. Thank you. Question. Who sent the uh, prisoner to the place where you were guarding, were they militiamen, were they soldiers, uh, who were they? Answer. Réponse. Soldier and militiamen uh, sent uh, prisoners des to des my militia. post. Question. I question. want to know who were they who sent a prisoner to your place? Qui envoyait les prisonniers là où vous étiez? Answer. Uh, réponse. I do not. I did not know uh, 
who they were specifically je ne sais pas and exactement I did not know their names gens, and I, je I just knew that they were soldiers and militiamen they sent a prisoner to my post eux qui envoyaient les prisonniers là où j'étais thank you question those who sent prisoner to your post how many times uh, per day were prisoners sent to your post? How many times were the prisoners sent to the place where you were? Did you see the same militiamen and soldiers who sent the prisoners to your place? Did you see the same militiamen and soldiers who sent the prisoners to your place? Did you see the same militiamen and soldiers who sent the prisoners to your place? When prisoners were sent to my place, when the prisoners were sent to my place, there were different militia men and soldiers who came to my place. On some occasions, no prisoner was sent to my place. Parfois, aucun prisonnier n'arrivait. And on some other occasions, ten people were sent to my place. Question: Based on your experience, when you received prisoners, were most of them male? La plupart des prisonniers qui arrivaient étaient-ils des hommes ou des femmes uh, Y avait-il parmi ces prisonniers de petits enfants As for prisoner, most of them were La plupart male, des prisonniers and étaient there were des hommes. Only a few, a female and a few children. Il n'y avait que quelques femmes et que male. quelques enfants. La plupart étaient des hommes. Question. As for Question. prisoners, what were their conditions when they were sent to your place? Were they tied up? And Les for children, what were their conditions? Étaient-ils attachés? Dans quel état étaient-ils en général? Prisoners were des tied Réponse. to the back of. Les prisonniers avaient les back. mains ligotées dans le dos. In order that prisoner could not escape, as for children, they were behind the older people. Les enfants, eux, suivaient les adultes. Question. Question. From your recollection, at the time that uh, you were asked uh, to go inside the security and do the typing, when was that? When were you assigned to do the typing? Quand étiez-vous chargé d'entrer dans l'enceinte du centre pour Answer. y taper des documents à la machine? Réponse. When uh, later, I was uh, placed uh, to be on guard near the tard, entrance, on and later on, I, they knew that I could uh, do some of the typing, and I was not tasked uh, to do the typing, and I was asked to do typing uh, whenever uh, they were absent. Quand ils ont appris que je pouvais taper à la machine, ils m'ont demandé de le faire en leur absence. Question. When you were asked uh, to go inside Question. and do the typing, uh, were all of you, Quand vous the six-man unit, uh, was asked to be uh, in the security office machine, and do the typing? Est-ce que tous les membres de votre groupe y allaient ou bien étiez-vous le seul Answer yes. The six-man unit was asked to go inside the security and on guard in the security office. Et ils montaient la garde. Lawyer, thank you very much. Concerning your workplace, the place where you did the typing, how many typewriters were there? 
combien y avait-il de dactylographes dans la Answer. salle où vous travaillez There was only one typewriter. Réponse. Un seul. L'interprète se reprend. Question. Il s'agit du nombre de machines à écrire et non pas du nombre de dactylographes. How many Question. Uh, were they at that place? Combien y avait-il de machines à écrire Answer. Réponse. There were only two typewriters. Seulement deux. And, and do it. And when one of them um, was absent and there Quand were documents to be typed, I was absent asked et uh, to go des documents, and do the typing. So on once again, and, and do it over the Donc typewriters. There were only two of machine. them. I would replace them whenever they uh, Je les could not do the job. Quand ils ne pouvaient pas faire leur travail. Question. Did you recall Question. what type of documents did you receive and were you asked uh, Quel type to de type? Vous et -vous taper? Answer. I did not uh, recall. Réponse. But as for typing, Je ne souviens pas. there would be a list of uh, prisoners enter Mais the security office so they would hand over the list and ask me to do the typing était donnée et je devais taper. Oh, yeah. thank you After you type uh, the documents, was there anyone to, uh, there to verify your typing? Answer. There was no one there. After I did the typing, I uh, would placed uh, the piece of paper Ensuite, on the desk and there was no one entering uh, the, the room, only Anne and Duit who could Seul enter the Anne room and uh, verify the information that I typed. Et ce sont eux qui Question. Ce que and after the Question document was, was typed and if there was any Et error was the document sent back to you to retype dactylographie si il y avait une erreur est-ce que no. de redactylographier after le document? i did the typing Réponse. they non. would correct uh, travail, the travail information corrigé, by themselves uh, corrigé, with their hand writing Lawyer, thank you. Avocat, je vous remercie. Concerning your written record, the 232 slash 93, question 32, your answer concern question 32, a book uh, consists of uh, 10 to 20 pages, and the book is for children to write. And earlier, I heard uh, the question put by the co-prosecutor, and in your answer, you said uh, it was not that book, it was a piece of paper that you received to do the typing. And in your answer 32, you mentioned réponse, the book which consists of uh, 10 to 20 Vous pages, de 10 and the information was in the book, and uh, the book was handed to you to do the cahier, typing. So what uh, do you have to say about this? Que vous, le 
Actually, this book was not a book of which was handed to me to do the typing. And it was not the book with the information that I got to do the typing. As I said, uh, the information was written on a piece of paper and it was uh, given to me to do the typing. And as I said, uh, the book was used to register the uh, prisoner who entered the security office. Question. Question. You mean the book uh, was for registering and prisoners and it, the books uh, were not given to you to do the typing. Is that correct? Answer. Yes, that is correct. Counsel, thank you. After you got the assignment, the assignment to do the typing. Did you ever see any annotation, red annotation, on a piece of letter? Avez-vous jamais vu une annotation, une annotation manuscrite? Answer: I never saw it. Sur l'une des feuilles que vous avez dactylographiées. Réponse: Non, je n'ai jamais vu cela. Counsel, I would like to backtrack a little bit. Uh, you have just answered that when you were guarding outside the compound. Vous avez dit que lorsque vous montiez la garde à l'extérieur de l'enceinte, the supervisor of the security office could not order you to do the assignment. I would like to know about the structure of your six-man units. Who was the chief? And if uh, there was no chief in your unit, so who would coordinate the work of your uh, units to the security office? Answer. I would like to clarify uh, this matter that uh, my six-man units, we, uh, we were not staff for of the uh, Grand Sajan Security Office. We were under the district, military district, and we were sent to guard Grand Sajan Security Office, as I said. Anne and Dutch were the leaders, and they would ask us to be on specific location and on guard. And only the commanders of my regiment could replace and remove us from our unit. The division uh, 210, uh, the leader the of uh, this uh, division, could order to remove and to assign us to wherever they want. Lawyer, thank you very much. During the time that you were on duty, were there any incidents? Did any incident happen? For example, the prisoner escaped from the security office. And if such incident happened, so who would report the matter to? Answer. When I was at that place, uh, there was no any incident that uh, prisoner escaped from the security Lorsque office. Étais, and if any incident happened, we would report to si the director of the prison, evasion meaning that uh, we would report to Ling and Anne. President, uh, lawyer, do you have many questions to ask this witness? Counsel, 
I will finish uh, my questioning in 15 minutes. Uh, Le co-avocat. J'en ai pour 15 minutes. President, it is now time for lunch President, break. President, le moment est venu d'observer une pause déjeuner. The chamber, La chamber will grant eight minutes for you to put vous donnera question minutes to this witness. So you will have uh, eight more minutes to ask this witness. It is now convenient time for lunch break. From now until 1.30, court officers, please uh, facilitate a proper place for witness during lunch break and uh, have him return before the chamber, before the bench, uh, before 1.30 p.m. Security personnel, you are instructed to bring uh, Mr. Kyosun Pon to the holding cell downstairs and have him returned before 1.30. The court is now adjourned.